This video is about understanding scroll bars and some of the different ways to use them. So we're going to look at one of my favorite websites, StopYourKillingMe.com, because it has a lot of information on it and nearly every page requires a scroll bar. The scroll bar is located over here on the right hand side. So right now I've, I'm looking at a list of authors but the name, last name beginning with the letter P. And there's more than fit on the screen. A lot of people would just grab this scroll bar and move it up and down but notice at this point I'm moving so quickly I can't actually even read the names as they go by. So then some people go the opposite effect and they'll actually use the um, down arrow down here at the bottom and they'll click. Now at this point certainly it's going slow enough that I can read everything as it comes on but it might actually be to the other extreme and going too slow. Some people will click on those arrows this time I'm going up and they'll hold it down and again, it tends to go a little too fast. If instead you actually click right above the down arrow, this gives you an entire new screen at a time. So three clicks takes me from the top to the bottom and allows me to read everything on the page. Or if it's going up, I'm going to click right below the up arrow. Again, this is going to take me a screen at a time. So three clicks allows me to see everything on the page. Let's go ahead and relate this to a dialog box. I'm going to go ahead and close this website. Right click on the desktop, personalize. I'm going to choose desktop background. There are so many desktop backgrounds that I need a scroll bar here in order to get through them all. So just like before, I could drag up and down, but if I do that real quickly, I can't really see what's happening. So instead, I'm going to click right above the up arrow in order to go down a screen at a time or right below the up arrow in order to go up a screen at a time. So right above the down arrow to go down, right below the up arrow to go up. Additionally, if I have a mouse with a wheel on it, I can simply move the mouse pointer over that window and roll that wheel up or down to scroll through. Sometimes this is an even faster way to do it.